Hey guys, in this lesson, we are now going to start incorporating the EQ into our mixing. So before we were just using our volume faders, right? And so now we're going to use the EQ. So just as a reminder, we have our highs, our mids, and our lows. So the highs are just like the hi-hats and the cymbals and stuff. The mids are more like snares and like that middle range frequency. And then the lows are the bass. So for this first lesson, and the next lesson is also going to be on the EQ. So this first one, we're gonna do a basic EQ mix, only adjusting the bass. And this is the most important EQ mix you're ever gonna learn because it's the one you'll probably use most often. And the reason being is when you have two songs playing at full volume, like we did in the last lesson, the kick drums, those bass hit, are the most prominent sound that you will hear. And uh, when they're both hitting at full volume at the same time, uh, it could sound distorted. You don't really typically want to play two basses full volume at the same time because it could blow speakers. It, you don't want to do that in a club. They'll get really angry with you. Um, or and you don't want to do it at home either because it's your equipment. But you also don't want it to sound bad and it'll sound like kind of crunchy. Um, those, the last mix uh, that we did in the last lesson sounded okay but it would sound even smoother if we adjusted the bass. So this is what you wanna do. We are going to do the same type of mix we did in the last lesson, same songs, uh, but this time we're gonna turn the bass all the way down. Okay, so we have our lows all the way down and this one is all the way up. And then we're going to do our fade. Once we get it up, uh, then we're going to start turning this knob. Once this knob, the low knob, gets to nine o'clock, then we're gonna start turning down this bass, okay? And then it's going to transition just like that. So as this moves up further and gets to the middle, by the time this is in the middle, you wanna have this around nine o'clock, and then you will then gradually fade this out and then you can either let the song end because we're playing the end of the song. That's a possibility. You don't even have to fade it out or you can fade it out. And then you'll notice that it's even smoother than the last time because the basses aren't playing at the same time. So here we go. Got the crossfader in the middle. I'm gonna turn that bass down. I'm listening in the headphones. We already have this beat matched actually, so I'm just gonna start it later. So back here. Just testing it one more time just for safety. Okay, just dropped it. Don't forget about your pitch adjustments. Smooth fade. Now I can even fade it faster because the bass, that prominent sound, is in there, but you still want it to be smooth. Now I'm gonna start turning the bass. Now it's at nine o'clock. I'm gonna start bringing the bass down from this song on the left side. And now if I had to make any adjustments, I would do it on this turntable. I'm fading the bass, and then I can start fading the volume. Right? So there you have it. That is your first EQ mix, and it's a basic EQ mix, or a basic EQ blend. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.